Hi, my name's Chandy, and I like to eat. In this video, we'll be checking out some more food trucks at the Carisbrook Park in Sawsbury. Now, let's go get some food. Okay, right now we're back at the Carisbrook Park in Salisbury, checking out some more food trucks. It's part of the food truck carnival, which is held over three days. This particular food truck event moves around Adelaide, and now it's here in Salisbury, and I'm gonna check out some good food here, some new ones and some old favorites too. Also, I post a lot of food videos around Adelaide, so be sure to subscribe to my channel and check out all the good stuff. I'm getting hungry as hell, man, so let's get some good food. All right, now first up from the S Deli at the Food Truck Carnival, I've got a Philly cheesesteak sandwich. Oh my God, I absolutely love Philly cheesesteak sandwiches. And if I see anywhere off the menu, I will have to get it, man. This looks sloppy, meaty, tasty, delicious. I've got some like potato gems on the side as well. I just can't wait to dig into this. The Philly cheesesteak sandwich, look at some more of a, wrapped in like a traditional, like, you know, kind of like a balmy bun. Looks like it's in place. I don't think it will fall apart. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. Wow, that Philly cheese steak sandwich, tender, that meat, so tender. Like, it wasn't dry. Sometimes you might get a bit of dry species, but these slices are so tender. That cheese sauce, so, like, it just worked perfectly together. That melting cheese sauce on that meat in the bun. It isn't sloppy around anywhere. Thank God for that. I think it's well placed inside the bun, too. You get a nice, good ratio of meat cheese in the bun well Philly's in the house today man fuck it. excuse my language but <laughs> that was one amazing Philly cheesesteak sandwich I might do a little something a little different here I might put some of those potato gems in the Philly cheesesteak sandwich to see how it tastes I know I might be tampering with their recipe here but all due respect these people are still great though so. mm. that was better potatoes meat the cheese the sandwich Wow, perfect. Philly in the house tonight. Next up from the Taste of Paradise food truck, we got a side bowl with some like coconut ice cream, strawberries and apples, some crushed nuts on top as well. Looks very healthy. I think it's vegan, gluten free, and I'm gonna say absolutely looks absolutely delicious. Eh? <laughs> Let's dig in. Mm. Mm. That was such a refreshing flavour kick in my mouth. It's like very cool, very, very fruity, very fresh flavours. It's like, is it healthy? But it tastes so good. Like it's, it's like a really healthy tasting dessert. That coconut ice cream is just such a refreshing taste. I'm going to have another bit again. That coconut is so creamy. Very delicious, man. I love coconut ice cream. Could not say no to this. This is quite like, honestly, probably could have this for breakfast, you know? Yeah, pretty good, good healthy meal. This. Next up, it actually is getting warm out, I had to take the jacket off. But next up, the next food truck I'm gonna try is another old favorite you would have seen a few weeks back, the Uncle Doc's Fried Chicken Food Truck. Yes, that Uncle Doc's. I was such a fan of their food the first time around, I had to come back for a second time just to try something else on their menu. This time, I got the sweet and spicy chicken wings with fries on the side, and they gave me these extra chicken crackling chips on the side too, which I'll probably eat straight after this. Or maybe later tonight, who knows. But now let's dig into these sweet and spicy chicken wings. They look super spicy. I've got some towels and napkins on the side just in case things get messy. Looks so juicy, spicy, greasy. <laughs> that chicken, super tender, super sweet. It's got that very nice balance of sweet and spicy. Topped off with little sesame seeds on top as well. The chicken itself cooked very tender. By like the second I just bit down into it, it was just so juicy. Like somehow they maintain that juiciness flavor on that exterior of the chicken man like this is freaking fantastic ah mm. so juicy mm. 
I admit I am like three chicken wings down and I thought this would get spicy as I eat it but it's actually been alright it's like a good level of spice so a good level of like sweet and chili at the same time so it hasn't been too overpowering as I've been eating it but I think just the, it's that right perfect balance of tender chicken and spice and all the flavors on it so don't be afraid to get the uh, sweet and spicy chicken wings here fingers are getting a bit messy from eating it thankfully I have some of these with me KFC wet wipes courtesy of Mark from Mark's Miley Adventures YouTube channel he sent me a few of these when I bought the Cambodia t-shirt special shout out to him man he gave me he sent me actually a few of these too so I'm definitely gonna use these thanks Mark <laughs> you're a legend all right now I'm gonna try some of these uh, chicken cracking chips courtesy of Uncle Docs nice little snack here after this man they look pretty good. I love the crackling, man. Hope it's just as good. Here comes the chicken to Uncle Doc airplane. Ah, very nice. Tastes like you know that same texture is uh, pork crackling, deep fried in the ship form, but more tastes like chicken. This will be a very good snack, like for movies, whatever you know. Quick snack in the afternoon. Who knows? But. Mm. Is a great feed from Uncle Dogs. Great snack. I'm probably gonna finish these later tonight while watching a movie. Uh, thanks to guys for Uncle Dogs for this delicious meal. All right, just to finish off this food truck event, just like we do in the old videos, I haven't done this in a long time. Finish off some bubble tea, but this time there's a new bubble tea food truck. There's about called Bubble Me Bubble Tea. These are located in the southern suburbs of Adelaide. And they've made them up way here to the north. I've got the peach with some coconut jelly at the bottom there. Looks very delicious. Oh. And it tastes refreshing. It feels like it's got much more stronger tea taste to it as well. Nice balance for the sweetness of the peach, plus the freshness of the taste of the tea. This is very good bubble me bubble tea. And you know, I do love my bubble tea though. Anyway guys, that ends the food truck carnival here at Salisbury. Well, thanks again to all the food vendors for cooking all that delicious food. Thanks to Uncle Docs, uh, Esteli, uh, also, who was the other one? Taste of Paradise, yes, how can I forget them? And the bubble me bubble tea as well. Also, we've got some delicious trout waffles as well from the Natasha's Trout Waffles food trucks. Those guys are amazing. You know, I talk about them so much because they are just that good. Mwah. Perfect. They are the bee's knees. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Happy eating. Munch out.